Good day to everybody. Welcome into our broadcast of You Are Enough. God has a word of instruction for you. Family, do not let anybody in this world bamboozle you. I want you to know God is a just God. God is righteous. And God's instructions for us is to go into the secret place. Go into the secret place in your prayer life, in your prayer time. God said, when you go in the secret place, he said, whatever you're praying in secret, whatever you've been praying about in secret, glory to God. God said, I'm about to reward you openly. Whatever you've been praying for all by yourself, whatever you've been praying for in secret, in that quiet place, God said, I'm getting ready to reward you openly. There are no tricks when it comes to God blessing you. There are no gimmicks in the kingdom of God. God says, stop being bamboozled. People telling you to jump around, run around, throw a hundred dollars on the altar. That is witchcraft family of God. Will God give us illogical instructions? Yes. Will God tell us when to sow at a time that we may think we shouldn't be sowing? Absolutely. But there are no gimmicks in the body of Christ. Hear me today. God said, when you go in your secret place, he said, I'm going to reward you openly. When you go in your secret place in your prayer time, God said, whatever that stubborn problem is, God said, I'm going to give you a solution. I'm going to deliver you. God said, I'm coming. I know it feels like I'm not coming. God said, yes, I am. Because you've been in a secret place. You've gone on the inside. You've been praying in prayer and faith. You've been planting. And God said, you're going to receive a harvest. You are going to receive a harvest of what you've been praying for. You're going to receive it. A lot of you have been in that secret place. A lot of you have taken the time to get by yourself and pray. This is exactly what you continue to do. You stay in a secret place. You stay in a posture of prayer. Don't let the enemy intimidate you not to pray. Don't let the enemy condemn you not to pray. In this season, we need to pray more than we've ever prayed in our life. Our nation, our country, our world is in turmoil. Our world is in trouble and things are going to get worse. We know there's going to be an outpouring of the spirit before the Lord returns. We know the spirit of Elijah will be more evident and present in our world. It will be. But until that time come, you have been commanded to pray. You and I have been commanded to pray. You and I have been commanded to get into the secret place. Ask God whatever you want to in private. Do you hear that promise? God said, go to this private place. He said, go into the secret place. He said, when you get into this secret place, whatever you've been concerned about, God said, I'm going to turn that situation around. God said, I'm going to turn it all the way around. And I'm not just going to turn it around. God said, I'm going to turn it around in your favor. You're going to see why you had to go through all this stuff. You're going to see why I allowed the betrayal. God said, you're going to see why I had to change your direction of where you were going. God said, I'm going to show all these things to you. It is in the secret place. You want to know the answers to your problem? It's in the secret place. You want to know solutions to your problems? It is in the secret place. That secret place is our prayer life with God. We are commanded to pray and not to faint. Don't lose heart. Don't quit. Don't cave in. Don't stop doing good. The enemy wants to intimidate you to quit doing good whenever you are in a place that is tough, that is tight. No, you press and you keep going and you never give up. You never stop. Don't ever stop, family. You keep going. Don't let people bamboozle you in this world. Every promise God gave us is yes and amen. Every promise. There are no gimmicks. There are no games. There are no tricks to get what God has for you. It's not. God gave us principles. This is why we teach principles. This is why God has commanded me to help you teach. 
help you learn by teaching you principles in the kingdom of God. You can't do it any other way when you belong to God. You can't. When you belong to God, you can't do it any other way. Whenever you are the true chosen, you can't do it any other way. You can't do this on the outside of you. You can't do this in the world. You can't because the principles that you have, the ideologies of the world, they are vastly different. They are so different. Don't conform. See, you have to be careful whenever you're waiting on God to bring you your breakthrough. You have to be so careful waiting on God to manifest that miracle for you because the enemy wants to tempt you. He wants to harass you. He wants you to do something that is going to cause the hand of God to stop in your life, to be blocked. God said, get yourself in a secret place. God said, stay in this secret place. He said, whatever you praying for, I'm going to let everybody know it. He said, because I'm going to reward you openly. Look at that. You think it's never going to come, don't you? As a man, think of in his heart, so is he. If you think you're not going to get it, you're not going to get it. If you could just believe, you're going to receive. Believe on the Lord your God. Believe. All the blessings are yes and amen, and they belong to you. Did you know it's your birthright to be healed? It's your birthright to be whole? It's your birthright to be blessed? It's your birthright to be prosperous? Did you know that it is your birthright? It is. Stay in the secret place. Don't come out of the secret place. Don't tell everybody what you're praying for. Don't tell everybody what you're believing for. Because you're going to allow the enemy to gain an advantage over you. And you're going to wonder how did your plan stop? What caused my plans to get put on hold? Because you opened up your mouth and you told things about what God was doing in your life and you weren't supposed to do it. Not that you're supposed to be afraid, but you have to know what to say, when to say it, who to say it to, when to be quiet. You have to learn that. And we learn these things by leaning on the Holy Spirit. God said, go in a secret place. Those of you who are tuning in, this is confirmation for you. You're trying to figure out, you're trying to understand how is this going to happen God said I'm going to make it happen you don't have to do God's job he wants to do it let him do it let him do it today the Lord loves his children the Holy Spirit is powerful the Holy Spirit is a revealer is a revelator the Holy Spirit is a leader is a guider is a comforter did you know God is going to use the Holy Spirit in your life to reveal to you all things, even fake people who don't think you know they're fake, even your fake friends who smile in your face and give you these hugs and they think that you don't know how they really feel about you. Feel about you. Yes, you do know, but you have wisdom and you're going to continue to put these people before the Lord. Everything is going to work out for your good. Everything. You don't need to see how. You just need to know that it is. It is going to work out for your good. Because God tells us all things work together for the good of those who love God. And to those who are called according to his purpose. If you are the called according to the purpose of God. Everything that you will ever go through in this life. Everything you've ever gone through with in this life. It shall work together for your good. It is. I declare today that you're going to get a good measure. Press down, shaking together, running over blessing. Men will pour into your bosom. I declare that everything will be restored. All things will be restored, family of God. Trust God. Trust. Trust, 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 trust. Trust. You can trust him because God will not renege on his promise. He won't. He's a man of his word. He's not like people. God is not slack concerning his promise. God said, go in a secret place. God said, whatever you desire, he said, pray in secret. He said, I'm going to reward you openly. He said, I'm going to let everybody know what you've been praying for. Your blessing will be revealed and people will know why you've been hidden in a certain season. You've been hidden for God to protect you. People wanted your life. People wanted your life. People wanted you to lose your mind. They wanted to burden you with so many problems. God said, I got to tuck you away. I got to hide you. Because the enemy is trying to come in and stir the pot. And drop things in your pot 
that's going to make you ill, that's going to make you sick, that's going to emotionally break you down, that's going to psychologically break you down, and God can't have it. God wasn't having that. So God said, I'm going to excuse certain things out of your life. God said, I'm going to excuse certain people out of your life. And when you stay in a secret place, God is going to reveal to you who needs to go and who has his blessings to say. Stay in the secret place. This is a word for you today. God said, go in the secret place and you stay in that secret place. He said, whatever you're praying about in secret, he said, I am going to reward you openly. Whatever you're praying about in secret, God said, I'm going to reward you openly, family of God. It's going to happen for you. It's going to happen because God chose you. God chose you to be the one for all these things to happen so that you can help your family, so you can pull your family out of this mess. You are the person that God chose. You are. They don't have to like that you're the one. They didn't call you to be the one. And they can't take back what God has already set in motion for you. You are the one that God has chosen to lift your family out of this famine. You are the one that God has chosen to bring in financial and generational wealth to your bloodline. God chose you because he wanted to. God put his heart in you. This is why every time people mistreat you, family of God, you still have a heart to do good because you have a heart of God. Don't despise the heart that you have. God is just going to teach you how to govern your heart and how your heart can be your biggest blessing and how your heart can be your biggest curse. This is what God is teaching you, but you are the one that God chose and nobody can change it. Nobody can manipulate it. No family. So stay in a secret place. Stay in a secret place and keep praying. Whatever you do, keep praying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Remember that parable in the Bible in Luke, I think it is, about the widow woman, widow woman and that unjust judge. He was an unrighteous judge. He didn't care about people. He didn't fear man. He, he didn't care. But that widow woman knew that he had what she needed, just like God. God has what you need. Hashtag, God has everything that I need. He does. Are you going to trust him to give it to you today? It's going to come by way of your prayer. Don't be anxious. Whatever it is, whatever you're waiting for, whatever you're believing for, whatever you are waiting to come into your life, God said, don't be anxious for it. He said, but in everything through prayer, in everything through supplication, he said, just let your request be made known unto me. God is going to renew your strength. God is going to renew your hope. And God is going to renew your joy. Thank you for tuning in to our broadcast of You Are Enough. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share. And jump over to our Instagram page at Nikki G. McCray. Thank all of you for supporting our books, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. Thank each and every one of you, family of God, for supporting our products here on YouTube and here on Instagram. We love you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.